Hello, I'm James. I'm Colin. And welcome to Let's Talk Retro. And this week we're talking about press kits. So Colin, I know you've been collecting press kits since last summer. What exactly is a press kit for those who don't know? Yeah, well, I'll uh, tell you. Take a look at this. So yes, what is a press kit? Well, it's probably exactly what you think it is. A kit that is sent out by games companies or games publishers pre-release to members of the press or media such as games magazines, newspapers, or maybe TV shows that are planning on doing a review or a feature on a game. A good press kit should include a copy of the game or at least a demo of the game so that it can be tried out. And secondly, a press disc or a USB memory stick which contains some high-res screenshots, box art and possibly concept art of the game as well as some text files which give any relevant information. Press kits can also then include some other cool items like this Batarang that came with possibly the most extravagant press kit to date, the press kit for Batman Arkham Origins and in the middle of the Batarang is an LCD display that actually plays the trailer for the game. Very cool. Once all the items of a press kit have been put together, they are usually boxed or put into some sort of creative packaging. For example, the press kit for Uncharted 2 was wrapped in a dirty looking envelope made of material. And Until Dawn's came in a grubby looking beat up tin. Here are some other examples of press kits. So we all now know what a press kit is. Yeah, probably exactly what you thought it was. But yeah, we're all on the same page now, or at least hopefully we are. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so um, where do you get these press kits from if you want to start collecting them? Well, obviously the uh, the, the main place and the, the obvious place is eBay. Um, obviously you can get most things on eBay these days. And uh, if you go on eBay and you type in press kit and then click on video, in video games as your category, um, and it'll come up. It's not, not a huge amount on there, only a couple of pages. Mm. Um, and uh, I also noticed that mainly it seems to be Sony that do these press kits. Okay. I heard that recently that a lot of games companies and publishers are starting to not do so many because they can't afford to do it. So, um, but there's very rarely do you see a, an Xbox press kit or you know Microsoft or it seems to be mainly Sony these days. Um, so I don't know why that is particularly, but you know that's the. Uh, the way it is. So Maybe think, social media has changed maybe, that a bit. Maybe, or... yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so they're, they're on they're on eBay and you see a lot of PS4 ones, so I say, because Sony seem mm. to be the main people that are doing them. And they go quite expensive, some of them, up to about 200 quid. Wow. For, like Uncharted and um, the, the Last of Us and stuff like that. You know, they're, 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 they're big kits. They've got a lot in them. Often. Good value for money. Um, you know, they're collectible. That's where the money comes yeah, in, and they're right. only it's, they're worth what someone's willing to pay for them. Like mm. most things are collectible, um, but again, they're the place you could get them if you've got someone you know, someone that works for a magazine uh, or or TV that gets mm. them, and they can pass them on. To you. I know there's a guy on Instagram who I've talked to quite a lot. Um, and in fact, I've been meaning to say about Instagram for a while. If you're not Insta on Instagram, there's a good. Um, following of uh, retro gamers on there that are all talking about retro games and showing their collections so if you're not on Instagram you need to get on there that's the place to be if you ask ask me and if you go on there don't forget to check this out let's talk retro of course <clears throat> but yeah this guy on Instagram he's, right. he was doing I think it was Saturday mornings he was used to do press kit Saturday or something okay. like that and he used to show his latest press kit and he's got a lot of them and uh, he's worth checking out I'll put his uh, link in the description to his uh, Instagram page and he's got an amazing collection as well. Some people on Instagram, they've got amazing collections when you see them all pictured and on one page. Wow. So, um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, if you've got someone in the press that can pass them on to you at a cheap price or for free again, obviously that's great. Or mm. the other way you could try and do it is if you work for the media or if you can try and blag it that you're in the media, <laughs> is to try and get on someone's yeah. press, press kit uh, list where they'll send them out to you. But chances of doing that, I think, I think they say it's pretty hard to get on there. You have to mm. prove that you are really someone in the media and you're part of the press to, to actually uh, get one. But yeah, so do you want to have a look at the, I've uh, not got a huge amount, but do you want to have a look at the press kits I've collected yeah, so let's, far? Yeah, let's um, rattle through some. Yeah, let's take a look at them then. 
So, uh, press kit number one. So I'll do the PlayStation uh, 2 ones first. Okay. And uh, this is press, cut, press kit number one, and it's uh, for Formula One 2001. Right. So you're going back a little what while. What year was that then? <laughs> Um, right. So uh, this one comes in a, it's got like a plastic sort of sleeve, but it, well, it's actually in, and uh, if you, so I just take this out, so it slides out, and that easily, <laughs> look at that, be like that, uh, right, so there we go, that's it, the actual press kit, and the thing I like about this one is it's actually riveted there, Okay. and then it, it fans out. Right. So, Wow. I don't know whether they can see that, but we'll, we'll get some pictures up. But So, uh, as it fans out, the first first thing you get is uh, some pictures of Formula 1 cars. Is that pictures from the game? or uh, No, it's just, just general, random just pictures, random pictures yeah. I think. Probably from the, uh, I don't know whether they're from the 2001 show season. The, show the people. <coughs> so, yeah, some pictures that we can make now. We'll probably get a better photo anyway. And then, uh, as you go through, probably all important moments. You have some Formula text, so sort of like the history of Formula One, and uh, the next sort of these are sort of clear, almost like overhead projection sort of style mm. things. I don't know whether they'd work on the overhead projection. And then you've got Formula One 2001, and uh, it's a DVD ROM. Uh, so, is there anything on the disc that says that it's a? Uh, a test one. Well, or this one just says edition. this one just down the bottom there says oh, the game. So. Anything on the disc? Um, not particularly. No, not on this one. Not, nothing that says don't. Just say wasn't sure with these press kits whether they do plaster all over the disc like preview copy, not yeah. for resale and things like that. Um, so you have got the game. Uh, so obviously, you obviously you can play the game, see what the game's like, mm. and then you have a DVD. Which is the official review of the 2000 F uh, FIA Formula One World Championship. Okay. So obviously it's going to give them a lot more background if you're writing a review on it, if you're not into Formula One. Um, so you'll get to pick up a few more things about that. And oh. then lastly, you've got the press disc. Which, uh, so there's three discs in total. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And the press disc obviously has got like some high definition pictures and text and all the rest of it on it. Brilliant. Um, so there's some media on there that if you say you work for Games Master Magazine or whatever, then you can... Yeah. Use the images or whatever from there for your so, review or for your advert. Yeah, so that's the first one, that's for Formula One, uh, 2001. And uh, following on nicely from that, again, obviously staying on the PlayStation 2, we have Formula One 2002. So, and uh, the thing they've done about this one is quite clever, it's made it look like a, a pit board. So mm. it's just like the sort of pit board you see them holding up at the pits as the, the cars go flying by, idea. sort of thing. Um, and obviously it says Formula One 2002, and uh, that's, that's like the sort of slip sort of case part to this one. And uh, if you take it out, you have uh, a nice sort of checkered flag thing on the on the first page, and then as you open this up, hey, look at that! You've got sort of like a bit of text um, about. Well, it's got the controls. Controls of the, game. the games, yeah. Oh, in all different languages, so yeah. that makes sense, and they can send this out. All over the, the place, world, yeah. yeah. And then you've got your uh, your press disc again with pictures and text and background about the game, and um, then the actual disc with the game on. So is that the exact? I guess that's the final game. It's not. A I presume so. It's yeah. actually what it says on this one. Does it say anything? It's not yeah, a beta it or no, yeah, of course. This is promo only, not for resale on the top. Oh, okay. So I must admit, I'm not actually paid to find out. Press disc on it. Disc, yeah. That's cool. And then you've got another sort of pictures. There's nothing to say how many they made then of these. No, there isn't. No, I don't no know. so you don't, they don't number them. I presume, no. I presume they're fairly limited, but, mm. you know. <coughs> so that's the uh, Formula One 2002. And then this one's probably one of my favourite favorite ones. And uh, this one's for World Rally Championship 3. Okay, so racing yeah. games all so far. Hey, yeah. I like the front of that. So that's what's cool about this one. Yeah, you've got like a tire. Okay. It's like a tire Let's tread. Where the camera picked that up, but we will get some pictures. Yeah, can you see that? Nice little metal border. Hey, that's cool. So it, it's presented quite nice in this folder. So let's say it's. Uh, let's say the nice tire tread on the front there. Then you open it up, and you've got your your press disc again. Wow. And. Uh, then a demo disc this time, so this one's obviously a demo of the game rather than the full 
mm. before working game. And then over this side you have, which would be like the little leaflet, sort of like uh, showing you more that being oh, the okay, friend so of the game. Yeah, it shows you the box. So the art, box artwork. And then and I guess, the oh, the rear, and stuff yeah, on the so back. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then the last thing in this one is a, again a DVD um, of World Rally, Rally Championship 2002 Reloaded, Reloaded. so it's like a, wow. it's all, the, all the action from the 2002 FIA World Rally Championship season, so that's, and that's sealed, so uh, I mean, it's a, a DVD, so if they didn't know much about Rally, the Rally Championships, they could uh, check it out on the DVD before writing their review. Wow. <coughs> Loads so, of content. Yeah, and I have one more PlayStation 2 one, which I'll get. And this is again, this is one of my favourite ones again. And the no expense spared this time on this one. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, that is the packaging. Right, okay. And it has top, top secret. Top secret in on it. So no and expense spared. And it is an actual, it is a jiffy. It's it got the, so they've, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, so that nice is. Nice idea. Yeah. And, Save uh, some money. You so spend all your money on creating the game. Yeah. So the first one you have a. Uh, a preview, so this preview of this one of the game, and it's uh, 24 of the game. Right, okay. Never played it. So it's a preview disc, so probably that's a demo, I imagine. That's that. I haven't okay. actually played it. There you go. And uh, I must actually, so, the, yeah, no, the most I've paid no, on any of these is, on most I've paid on any of these is 24.99. This one was eight quid. It's right, the cheapest okay. one of the collections so far. Um, yeah, so you got the disc, and then you have some instructions, top secret instructions. Well, uh, just a okay. bit of paper. <laughs> uh, so, again, copy of paper. It says, for attention of all active CTU field agents. Okay, that's uh, it. It says, username is first name and password is 24 the game. It says, to begin your mission, click on the executable file 24 press kit max slash PC. And what they're on about, there must be an execution of the file. And this, this is the coolest right. thing in the actual press kit. You've got this sort of leather or PVC style sort of little wallet. Okay. And then you've got a... Uh, an actual card for Agent Jack Jack Buell. So it's like an identity card. Yeah, but it's actually really got close. a USB. It's actually a USB stick. It's got a USB. There's the back. Plug in it. You can plug it into your computer. Hey, look at that. And then you can uh, access all the files on there, the, the images and files to do with the game. To give okay, all the quite. background information. Oh look! Look at that. Tiny cable. So that's wow. pretty cool. That was only eight quid. I recently picked that up on eBay, and the guy had ten of them. So there's, I think there's still some available on eBay now, if anyone's interested. Jack Bauer. Um, but yeah, it's nice if you're if you're uh, if you're like the uh, show or you know the games, then it's worth picking up. <laughs> well, never knew anything like this existed. So we're moving on to PSP. Now okay. Two PSP kits. This first one's not much. I think this one cost me about twelve pound. Twelve ninety nine, and it's uh, Daxter, and uh, you just open this one up. It's just a little cardboard sleeve, and you got your press disc again there with all your information and your images on, and then the UMD, and the UMD says on this, promo only, not for resale, and it's just stuck in there in like a little wallet you can take out and then play it. So Brilliant. I've never played the game. Is it? <coughs> no, I've never played actually. I've never tried this one. Um, something on my list of things to get around to doing. I've got so many games to play and so little time to yeah. actually get around to playing them. So, but yeah, so it's uh, it's quite colourful, even though relatively small as far as press kits all go. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, quite nice. Mm. Uh, but my favourite press kit of all, the last one, last but not least, is this one, and this is uh, a recent edition. Again, I picked this up for twenty four ninety nine. Again, I think the guy had about 10 of them for sale, so there might be some still available if anyone's interested. And it's for Tekken, uh, King Iron Fist Tournament on the PSP. And this is like a survival kit, this has uh, come packaged as. And yeah, it just opens up. I didn't even know Tekken was on the PSP. Um, I, 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 no. I didn't even until this, I'm not, I'm not a real big PSP collector, so no, I don't really are. know. Um, so right, when you open this up, you've got your, your UMD again, which says, uh, it's, uh, it says pre-production, not for resale. So whether it's a full game or not, I'm not sure, because I haven't mm. tried it. Um, you've got your press kit, and then you've got um, this over here, says survival guide. <coughs> but when you look through there, it just tells you a bit about really the history of uh, Tekken and 
where it come from the arcades and now it's on the PSP. Mm. Um, and then these are quite funny. These are uh, sub combat survival cards and it takes each of the characters and it shows you their special moves. Oh, okay. And then tells you what to do, a suggested action of what to do. But I thought it might be in the game, but it's not. It's actually in real life. So if someone was to do um, Brian's chain of misery on you, their suggested action is to apply frozen peas to the area um, and to leave and sulk. So this is the character, Brian. Yeah. He does a special move on you, and then they've they've made some cards that you can just a bit of fun. Yeah. Saying if this guy punches you in the face, you need frozen peas. Yeah. And then what does it say? Uh, leave to sulk. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just a, just a bit of a fun added added bonus. Just uh, they're quite nice. They're quite colourful. And they're quite well quite well made. I can imagine for some Tekken fans, this is going to be... That's it, well, if you're someone that collects just yeah, maybe Tekken, Tekken uh, games, I know some people yeah, specialise... Yeah, show you those. I know some, some people specialise in actual Tekken... Collecting just Tekken one. games, so if you just collect Tekken games, this is probably going to be like your highlight of your one of your highlights of your collection, if you get one of these. It's cool, there's another character... And the artwork, the artwork on them is really nice. Okay, another one quickly, and then some artwork of someone being injured on the back. So uh, yeah, that's basically all the press kits I have at the moment. Maybe I shall be add up, or I'll be trying to add some as we go. You know, keeping it retro, keeping to the retro ones. Not really interested in the PS4 ones and um, things like that. But uh, yeah, maybe few months down the line we might be doing another video of a few more that I picked up we will see but I mean I don't know what you think of them I think they're quite a nice thing to collect and they're probably I don't know whether they're more collectible than normal games or not but it's, it's just a nice thing to collect and if you if you collect like a series of games let's like, say like the Tekken one it's nice to get like, the press kit to go with the actual whole collection of games I think I think a lot of people probably don't even know these things exist Maybe not. I don't know. I didn't until I'd seen the guy on Instagram has them, and I started looking into them. And but yeah, really nice thing to collect if yeah. you ask me. Yeah. So anyway, that's it for this week's video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're nearly up to three hundred as we started filming this. Maybe we are already up to three hundred now. You, now you watch check this. it in a minute. Yeah, I have to have a look. But uh, yeah, so James, as always, what they got to do until next keep time. Keep it retro, everyone. Yeah, keep it retro. We'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Oh, we're going to light some armpit here. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, press kit number one. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all our new videos.